these are the top three things that we did while in Sydney. The list is so short because they only spent a couple days there. Straight out the gate, major mistake. Um, could have stayed there for a week. We really could have stayed there for probably four to five days. Would have been like a nice amount. There was a ton that we wanted to do yeah. and see that we didn't get a chance to. So. Just overall, the city is really cool. We heard that it was actually the oldest city in the Philippines, but when we were walking around Cebu City like proper, mm -hmm. we saw that there was a lot of things being built up there. Yeah, there's a lot of growth in the city. A like lot of growth. new condo buildings, yeah. new shopping centers, that kind of thing. Yeah. So number three on our list is the whale sharks. We went swimming with whale sharks in Oslob, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, and it was part of this tour we did. Shout out our tour guide. Wish. Um, and it was really cool. There were actually not that many whale sharks out the day that we went out there, unfortunately, because it was raining so hard um, the day before and that morning. And nonetheless, we got really awesome footage. Yeah, we'll show some clips here. Um, they were right next to us. I mean, you basically went out there on this little bow and you floated right next to your respective boats. Yeah. Everybody was told to stay near the boat because one person, one guy in like a little rowboat would throw out bits of fish. Forth. And the whale sharks were like accustomed to this. This was clearly, this was the way it goes. They come back every day for this food. Yeah. And so they would just swim by all the boats lined up, back and forth, eating the fish dropped in the it ocean. It was a cool, cool process. It was really cool. And they were very big. Yeah. And they were only the babies. They were like right. the length of like two twin beds. <laughs> One of the things that we found out too was that I guess there's other places that do this, but they, they, cage, they cage the whales. And yeah. so, this particular place that we went to does not do that. And yeah, that was really cool. cool. They say that like they, they just can, come back. They can come and go as they please. Yeah. Which is why there wasn't so many, I guess. Yeah. Number two on our list is canyoneering in Kawasan Falls. This was probably my favorite thing to do. It yeah. was like this four hour experience. And, and even though that feels long, when you first hear it, it, was, it did not feel like Doesn't four hours, like right? It was, it was like a, a workout and sightseeing all in one. The way that it works is that you're led by your guide through the entire experience. It's honestly so complicated to go through, so I don't even know if there's a way to go through it by yourself. I don't think The guides yes. were literally telling us like while we were walking in water that you can't see, they were like, yeah, there's a rock there, rock there, just float here. And so like every yeah. single time we were walking, they were just like leading us. It was really cool though. There's probably like five or six different cliffs that you jump off of. Yeah, you do, right? you do cliff jumping kind of throughout. And, it and gets they get higher, higher and higher <laughs> until the last one, the which last is one like is pretty large. 40 or 50 feet up. I don't know. That yeah. feels like the right number. It felt like it was 50 feet, but <laughs> that was really cool. Well, they give you a flotation device and a helmet. The helmet's real. Yeah. So they give you a helmet. <laughs> the helmet's definitely and real. And honestly, good thing for the helmet because when I was there, I kid you not, I slammed my head on this rock and I was like, thank God for this helmet. <laughs> yeah, I only had my knee on a rock when I slipped. Oh. No head injury. It was really cool though. So if you're looking to do something with a little bit of action and a little bit of little adventure, little adventure, I would definitely recommend that. And for all the people who like drone and photography stuff, I think there is a way that you can get your drone in there if you ask your guide. So the last thing on our list was this sort of shopping center with a lot of restaurants called El Corso. The shopping center itself is still being built up yep. and there weren't a ton of stores that we went to inside but the center itself is on the water and there's this really, awesome really long view. walkway all along the water and it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, you have the view of this bridge, which is the longest bridge in- Newest bridge too. Longest and newest bridge in Cebu, which is actually private owned, which is really cool. Only toll bridge apparently. Yeah, because it's privately owned. Yeah. And there's these, a ton of restaurants, so many different types. There was Korean barbecue, there was yep. sushi, there was Italian. Filipino food, there was Italian. There, there was like an indoor area that wasn't officially done yet, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure, you know, whenever somebody watches this video, that there might be like shopping. There's probably gonna be more shopping there by yeah. the time. Inside it. Yeah. yeah, so if you didn't want to go to all the malls that they have in Cebu City, you can go to this. It's kind of like a mall, but it, again, it's it's this outdoor area versus an indoor massive mall. Um, yeah. The indoor massive malls are cool, but this is kind of a little bit more unique. It's a unique experience, yeah. yeah. And it was really nice. We went like an hour or two before sunset, so mm -hmm. we did some droning, and by we, I mean Gabe. <laughs> I sat on the ground on my phone. Um, Gabe did some droning, and then we walked up and down to check out all the different restaurant options. And then we watched the sunset. Yeah, watched the sunset. So, cool. Yeah, it's really nice. 
So those are the three things that we did in Cebu. Again, we really wish that we were there way longer than we were, yeah. but we probably will be back. Shout out Lish. See you soon. <laughs>